Hi, I'm Reno. My pronouns are she and her. I'm an out and proud parent of MX Ria, who identifies as queer and gender fluid. Their pronouns are they and them. I'm from Mumbai, India. Right from the beginning, uh, like uh, Ria was different. Like uh, when they were very small, like maybe five years old, uh, her choices of wearing clothes or choosing their shoes were uh, not the stereotypical girl choices. Whenever we used to go shopping, they would straight away head towards the boys section and select, you know, boys t-shirts and boy shoes so their behavior was uh, stereotypically different uh, so probably that was my child's happy space you know that was their safe space and, and uh, they were going through their uh, gender identification journey at that time uh, yeah they were a little different uh, different from the uh, societal expectation I guess uh, Ria came out to us just two days before their 16th birthday. They were unusually very quiet and uh, then suddenly they started crying. And, uh, and you know how it is, you know, when a child cries, it breaks the parent's heart. So we were like, please tell what's wrong. Like, uh, why are you crying so much? And then they said that uh, they identify as gay. So our immediate reaction was like, uh, so what? Like, uh, you are a good human being and uh, you have, you know, always been a good child. So, and your sexuality, uh, sexual preferences uh, do not affect uh, us in any way. Our only expectation from you was that you be a good person and, uh, and you have always fulfilled that. So, it really we just assured them of our you know unconditional love and support at that time it was a mixed feeling uh, one was of relief that thankfully Ria has come out and now we are there to you know uh, help her through her journey from now on and there was a worry that how my child will be treated in the society and there was a repentance that uh, why did they did not come out to us earlier during their school times when they were struggling with their uh, gender and sexual identity yes we really didn't know much about this community uh, but we decided that uh, we will learn because this is our child's community so our journey started from there about, le about learning and empowering us about uh, this community like, uh, when we went for the Pride March for the first time, I think that was in 2019. So, uh, first time we saw, you know, I, I had, at least I had never seen anyone, you know. Uh, I could witness the gender expression, like different gender expression for the first time. So, it was a little difficult uh, to understand. But, but once we saw the happy faces, I thought, why should anyone else be bothered about uh, you know what the other person wants to wear or what they like so uh, it it was a little uh, journey of unlearning and you know uh, learning new things and once you decide when you decide from your heart that yes you want to embrace this then it becomes easier and Ria came out to their friends uh, they were of the same age and they were also unaware so they were bullied and uh, so it is, I feel that it is the parent's responsibility to create a safe space for the children so that they come back home and tell everything at home and, uh, you know, express themselves completely. So their mental health is taken care of and this, uh, a lot of bad experiences can be avoided. Uh, in a society like ours, like if the parent, I feel that if the parents are out and proud, the society does not say much. So, uh, our journey was not all that difficult. 
because we were very out and proud so no one really at least on our face no one said anything and if they're saying on our back we don't we don't really bother much so that way we got support from everyone from relatives from friends uh, and our, all of our colleagues became our allies so it has been a good journey in this sense when there are out and proud parents it gives courage to the other parents that uh, if they can be out and proud then why can't they be uh, and one thing that the parents have to understand that uh, the pa- the children are not not wrong they have been made that way so uh, there is no reason why the Uh, parents should not support the children i think some parents uh, you know find it difficult to accept their lgbt children uh, because of the social conditioning uh, the decades long conditioning and uh, and uh, the societal pressure of uh, not fitting in and uh, there is a fear of being mocked at and uh, there is concern uh how the children will be treated how they will be looked at uh these are, there are the multiple reasons like uh, but i think there is no reason uh, of not accepting your child i feel it does uh, religion culture it does plays a little uh, some part uh, but it is entirely up to the person if they want to accept or not accept because in indian culture also there there are uh, you know examples of homosexuality in our culture but still if people don't want to accept they will not accept if they want to accept only then they will accept to the parents of the lgbtqi children i would say that the journey of your child is already very difficult so don't make it even more difficult by not accepting them and the children uh, really need your uh, love and affection and they seek it like they re- they really want their parents by their side and uh, when the parents support their children the sky is the limit you know uh, the children can you know won any battle if if they have support at home so please uh, accept uh, give unconditional support to your children and uh, they 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 will they will become a star of their own i feel to the children i would say that uh, i understand your journey is very difficult but please do not leave uh, lose hope please take care of your physical and mental health become financially and emotionally independent and please hold your parents hand in their acceptance journey please try to make them understand uh please try to understand what are their concerns and uh, uh you have to understand that they come from a different generation so they will take their own time so you uh, they will need your need your support to uh, navigate their journey and eventually everything will fall in place and uh, everything will be fine my message to my lovely child is that i love them too much and they are my world they are the most precious thing to me and i'm really really proud of them that they are uh, they are they are living their authentic life and they're making a change in the society and uh, continue the good work and i will be i will always be by your side and uh, be good Be, become a good human being that's it